Ed Silverstein, let's talk about some of your favorite convertible bonds in the market, and we'll start off with Oasis Petroleum. Now, the stock is up almost 60% so far this uh, year, and you have oil back above $50 a barrel. So why do you want to own the convert now when that stock is taken off? Well, stocks had a good run. I don't think the stock fully reflects the underlying price of oil. Oasis has a competitive advantage in that they're located in the Williston Basin. Their price of producing the oil is very low. Uh, we think as long as oil stays where it is, the stock can go a fair amount higher. The bonds are currently trading a little above par. We think if the stock gets to 15, where we think it's likely to go, uh, we think the bonds can get to about 130, be nice appreciation. And as you always say, with convertibles, you get paid to wait. The converts come with a you know, three and a quarter coupon. So you're getting paid to wait on the stock. If the stock works in your favor, you get most of the upside. If it doesn't, as a bond, you're protected on the downside. And you know, that's kind of what makes convertibles unique, is you pick up most of the upside and less than half the downside, usually. And you are also a fan of Intercept Pharmaceuticals convertible bond. Uh, they make drugs to treat liver diseases. Now, they have a whole lot of cash in their balance sheet not a lot of revenue. So what does this mean for a bond buyer? Well, I think with Intercept, the, the idea that it's a convertible bond is key in this situation. The stock's going to be volatile. There's competition for the drug that they're developing for liver disease. Again, going back to converts that asymmetric return profile, if the stock works in your favor, you'll pick up most of the upside. If it doesn't, as you mentioned, they have cash, they're burning cash, but we think that given that they already have a drug on the market, there's downside protection in the bonds. Uh, you'll, downside will be protected if the stock goes against you. And clearly something where we wouldn't buy the common, but we think given the volatility of the stock, it's very well suited for a convertible investor. All right, Weatherford, oil services play. Stock's been hurting so far this yep. year, down around 25% or so. Why do you want to own this bond? Weatherford is, you know, unlike Oasis, Weatherford has really suffered, and that's probably a good time to buy it. I mean, the stock's really washed out around here at $6 a share. It was as high as 25 back in 2014. You know, a lot's gone wrong for the company. They had accounting issues, a lot of management credibility where they promised certain things and didn't deliver. Uh, the convert was recently issued. It came with almost a 6% coupon. You know, so going back to, as you always like to say, paid to wait, here's one where you're clearly getting paid to wait. You know, you're getting almost 6% in a very low, a low yield environment. Um, we think that there are certain things that will move the stock going forward. The, drig, drigging, uh, the drilling rig count is increasing. The number of wells that have been drilled but not completed is decreasing. So there's going to be a lot more drilling activity, we think, going forward. And generally, we like energy. The main state convertible fund has 12% of its assets in energy. It's helped this year. Uh, we think that they'll likely continue to do well. All right. And then finally, Tesla. Now, you're not bullish on the stock of Tesla, but you right. think that if you buy the convert and you short the shares, you'll do fairly well. Yeah, for a couple of reasons. I think if you're short the shares just on their own, you, there's a high cost to borrow. By being long the, the convertible bond, you're picking up about a 5% yield to maturity. And so that'll offset some of your cost of borrowing. Um, on the other hand, you have a bond that's relatively well protected on the downside. The bond's gone down since issuance. It's tr trading at about 84 cents on the dollar. We don't think they go much below 75. So your downside's limited to about 10% on the bonds. If you're short the stock, we think there's a lot of money to be made there. A lot of issues with a company not making money or certainly not making money on a cash flow basis. We don't see that changing anytime soon. Uh, we also see just poor fundamentals. I think in order to make the number of models they delivered last quarter, they really had to offer rebates for a company that said, we don't give rebates, but yet they did. Um, we just see poor corporate governance, the merger of Solar City, you know, the notion of a CEO tweeting. It, it, it just smacks of you know, stock price manipulation in terms of getting investors interested in the stock to sell another deal. Um, you see the Chevy Bolt has come out first versus the Model 3. Just a lot of negatives there. Don't see that changing. We think it's good to be hedged with the, the short stock, long bond position. All right. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about thanks it. Thanks for having me. It's Silverstein. And thank you for watching The Street.